Welcome to another installment of the Buchla 296e Spectral Processor tutorial. This time I'm going to be looking at the VCAs associated with all 16 frequency band filters. And I'm going to be a little different this time. I'm just going to build up this patch and then sort of explain it to you. Basically what's happening is I'm taking a raw sound, which is this, coming out of a 261e. Putting it into odd of signal in, coming out of all of signal out. And I have clock divided a bunch of voltages. Um, actually, here's the master clock. That's its speed. And all the others are subdivisions of that. So let's just play. actually going to take one of these and invert it and put it in a higher frequency. And then we'll add some randomness to this. That's just a single pitch that's creating all of that. Here we go. And by trying other VCAs, you get slightly different accent patterns. Okay, so what was going on there in that patch? Uh, let's just go back to my favorite friend, White Noise, to look at this uh, and how to utilize, get the most out of these control voltage VCA in jacks. Putting it in odd, and we can see it. Let's hear it. And remember that these gain pots control odd and even gain. Um, the one on the left for odd. There's odd noise, there's even noise, and together. Now to get the most out of these voltage controlled uh, inputs, we need to take out the volumes of all those bandwidths. Go to A, We go. Now we can take CV out and engage. Let me go to program so we can see this. Engage different bandwidths with the control voltage. That's a different, here's the exact same. And as I change the speed of the LFO, we can hear the difference.
So you get the idea. So let's go look at that patch we started with and I'll show you one more trick to play. Now taking that very same patch and changing all the settings on the quad function generators, thereby changing the CVs that are going to the VCAs on the 296E, we get a whole new sonic universe. First the patch we heard and then I'll recall one with new settings on the VC on the envelope generators. And remember that you're only as expressive as your control voltages. And of course, many, many more sonic scapes could be derived from this one single patch. See you next time.